Hey guys, it's Angela Kim from TheSquishyMonster.com and today I'm making you yet another easy candy video and if you'd like you can check out my 5 minute glass candy video below right here. So today we're making something called honeycomb or hokey pokey and when you crack it open within it it reveals this really nice kind of bubbly puffed up kind of aesthetic kind of like you would as like a honeybee honeycomb and it's really light and crispy but chewy all simultaneously at the same time. It's very unique, but it's such a cinch to make, and I hope you guys give it a try. This candy couldn't be simpler with just five ingredients and no candy thermometer required. You just need to combine your sugar and corn syrup, which is different than high fructose corn syrup, and you can also use Lyle's Golden Syrup for this as well. And you don't want to stir. That's probably the most important thing here. You just want it to melt, bubble away, cook together, get really nice and soft and liquidy, and turn this really deep, gorgeous amber color. Next in goes a sprinkle of salt and a splash of vanilla. And remember, you have not stirred at all at this point. You want to have some silpat or parchment ready on the side and a silicone whisk, some baking soda, you just sprinkle it all in there and you want to whisk it in and immediately it turns this really nice rich caramely beige color. You want to pour it out onto your prepared surface and you have to act pretty quickly because the stuff will set. doesn't matter how it gets poured as long as it gets poured onto here. After it sets, which only takes a few minutes, you can do the fun part which is to go in there and just break it up any which way you'd like. It's really light and as you can see it's called hokey pokey or um, honeycomb because it's got all those little bubbles because the baking soda really kind of lifted it up and made everything really light and fluffy and it's really sticky. It's fun. Just have little shards every which way you'd like. Make them into bite-sized pieces. Make them chunky. <laughs> it's just truly really fun to do and this is actually a really delicious filling for cakes as well. Provides nice crunch and texture. <laughs> and then the best part is that you can eat it. Mmm. 